Next up is an old favourite for the kids is the V-Drag. Lots of kids get this completely wrong and they think it is a skill to eliminate and it's actually a skill to avoid players and keep the ball safe as you can see from the video below. Um, the key is you're going into one area, you're then dragging it away and then going into a new area. Uh, on the other side of the pitch where you can link up with other players and teammates. When kids get this wrong, they go in, they stop and then they drag the ball over to the left side, then drag the ball back before moving on to a new area. Ideally, we don't want that because as soon as you stop, the defender knows you stopped uh, and then it becomes easier to defend. So ideally we want to run in with that ball in that good carrying position in the middle or just over to the left side of the body to then stop, drag and enter the new space. Below is another example of a V-drag going the opposite way this time, so from right to left. If you take note that the ball is carried on the right hand side now because you want to go to the left so it's dragged all the way across the body to the backhand on the left side you then move into the space with the ball carried on your backhand this is the quickest way to do it uh, to eliminate any forehands coming in to tackle you and you extend and then get your feet round after you've come out of the skill The next way we're going to look at avoiding players is to, as you get into the contact zone, you start to arc the ball away from your opponent, turn your back and then peel away from them using your body as a bit of a shield uh, from the player. You can do this going in to the left side, which is slightly easier, or you can then peel out on the backhand, peeling away. Uh, the extension for this is a spin. Um, Quite good indoor, um, but still can be used outdoor for advancing skills and is one that they're fun and they can spin around in circles. So give it a go uh, if you want to push on the top players. So in summary, technically the V-drag, we're looking to plant the foot and drag out at the same time across the body both ways, both from left to right the easier way and from right to left the more difficult way. And in the rollout we're staying low, we're turning our back and driving away into space, both on the forehand and backhand. Really important, tactically when are these used? These skills are used when there is congestion, we're in a side of the pitch where there's lots of players and we're looking to get out of that area and open up some space on the opposite side of the pitch to use space um, for our other players to play in.